Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and I want to show you something real quick with a Fresnel lens. I actually did a video on this about a year, year and a half ago. It was a night video, but it's in regards to a Fresnel lens when it gets wet and how the focal length changes. Now you're going to know this Fresnel lens has water stains all over it from the water. I just hosed it down to do this experiment, but what I'm trying to point out, these work even though they're, I mean this is probably running at about 70% efficiency right now. What I've been doing is using this steel beam setting this up with the stainless steel wool here and I've been heating the stainless steel wool without anything on it and what it does is it takes the shine off of it it actually makes this it actually uh, changes the structure on it so it does tend to want to rust a little bit but it's not it holds up really well so the goal with this is to make this a darker surface so you don't have this bright shiny stainless steel wool in there possibly make it more available to some sort of a paint the reason for this video is to show you about leaving Fresnel lenses out. Um, right now, down here at the grass, it's warm. It's about a little bit less temperature than the sun. You can see out in the sun, that's bright, and then this is the path of the Fresnel lens. So you can see that's the Fresnel lens shadow. There's the sun shadow, the Fresnel lens shadow. Now, it looks more intense because it's just a, a different angle but in actuality this is brighter out here than it is here so i'm going to back up and show you the whole filtering that's happening so right now the fresnel lens pattern is a huge wide beam over here so as long as somebody doesn't walk right here and right in that area they'll they're safe if they're over here you know so you don't want to leave one of these out like this i, I mean this is my experiment area so i know what's going on Anyways, my point is, is that if you did leave this out, this would be relatively not safe, I mean, for obvious reasons, but the grass isn't going to catch on fire unless one thing happens. A lot of people don't realize that the focal length of a Fresnel lens changes. In fact, it doubles or triples the focal length simply by getting it wet. So I'm not changing anything on this Fresnel lens. There's that, there's that, and I'm just going to deal with the traffic because I want you to see this whole thing in real time. And uh, I'm just going to spray some water on the back of this. So now I've wet down the entire back of the, the Fresnel lens. And if you look over here, what's happening to my grass, it's now extended the focal length. I'm going to put this there to protect it. Just by that Fresnel lens being wet, the focal length is there now. So we're going to go ahead and damage some grass. But this is one of the things you got to consider when you have a Fresnel lens. If it gets rained on, your focal length is going to double or triple. Like right now, the distance from this grass burning, which I'm going to put this here because I don't want to destroy the grass. But the distance from this up to here is I'm going to grab a 10-foot piece of steel pipe. Just to give you a quick idea. There's that. So this is right at the focal length. This is a 10 foot piece of pipe, so the focal length went from about 40 inches, which is what it was exactly, to 9 feet. So that's a, quite a difference in uh, the focal length. You can see that this is actually burning. Now, when this lens dries off, this area will become a safe area again. So if you are doing a solar project where your Fresnel lens is going to be out exposed to the elements, consider that the focal length will double while, while it's wet. Oh, back to the stainless steel wool. I'm going to put this down here in this, uh, you can see an area here, the shiny part in there is an area that was not treated, and then out here, this is an area that was treated. So this works a lot better. Now one thing to keep in mind is that this black on this right here from this wood, you can actually see that this area, I, I'm not going to encourage anyone to do this but this area is not as hot as it was because the Fresnel lens is drying off so the the focal length is actually shortening as we talk but this black area right here is actually a very very good surface for attracting sunlight um, it's just carbon black now the nice thing about this is that you can actually put this in water and it will work the same as this stuff does but this is a true black and Wood will transfer heat in water, just as metal, plastic, transfer. they all transfer the heat pretty much the same because they're enclosed in water. 
So what I have to do now is let this dry off so it doesn't destroy the grass. But you can see that it actually did a number on it. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.